Hey there, welcome back, stay motivated, make another video today. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make this six outfit change edit. In Final Cut Pro. And some of you asked on my son's channel how he did this edit. So I'm gonna show you how to do it today. Quickly, before I jump to the actual edit, there is few things you need to set up first. Number one, you probably gonna need some tripod. Of course, you can put the phone between books and etc., but it has to be steady, it cannot move. That's if you wanna make this edit way better. And obviously, make sure the recorded area is bright so it's gonna look good. Then if this is for sure, it's recorded in vertical position, of course. Plus, and this is very important one, record every time you walk in different clothes in slow-mo. Just an extra tip, the reason you wanna do it in slow-mo is because you can speed it up in slow-mo to regular speed or even faster and it's gonna look good. But on the other side, if you don't record in slow-mo and then later you try to slow it down, it's gonna be very choppy. Then obviously get some song that you really want to use. In this situation, you see that the main part of the song doesn't start right away. So for example, you can do the same thing like Chris did. And basically he walked, he put the hoodie out and stuff like that. And then he started walking when the main part of the music started. Obviously you wanna have it on the beat and that's gonna make the edit way better. And now let's jump to the editing. So of course we open new project. We open this in vertical, 1080 by 1920p. I mean, in this case I have 60 frames a second. Then we're gonna put any video on it right now, just for the purpose so we can put the song under and not on the main timeline. Okay, and here is the song. You see it starts right here, so we're gonna basically cut it. We're gonna cut at the end of the song, delete the part unnecessary, cut this clip, cut the rest of this clip, and then detach the audio for this clip on the timeline. This, by the way, this is kind of like a background clip. Is irrelevant to this video? It was only for the purpose of putting the audio on the bottom. Now zoom in for more detailed editing and then find out where the main part starts. I already see it is probably here. And then you basically put the clips on the timeline. So we got Chris over here with the hoodie and all. So this is gonna be the first clip and we're gonna time it the way that he starts walking where the moment starts in the video. So obviously shrink it to the point where it's, when it starts. And we're gonna cut it right here when he just makes this little move. Now this is in slow-mo, so we're gonna obviously speed it up. Now remember, we gotta be right here at 726, so we have to stretch this clip all the way here. So, so we're gonna slow down some moments. For example, this one, when he shows like, wait a second thing. So we're gonna cut it, cut, cut right after. Then we're gonna just put normal. In this case, normal is obviously slow-mo because it was recorded at slow-mo. Now we can do the same thing with when he opens and closes the door. You can cut it or speed ramp it, but I'm just gonna cut it. Now we're gonna adjust it the way that is gonna be correct for our timeline. And 726, we actually cut this. And now we're gonna put all the clips with different clothes that he walks on the timeline. So let's start with this one. Oh yeah, by the way, sometimes you're gonna have to record a couple of times so it looks good. Unless you can do it first time when you walk. Also, all the scripts are recorded in slow-mo. So here is how we can make it actually really cool. The first step that he takes, we're gonna speed ramp it. So let's say right here. And then click Shift B. And then basically increase the speed of this part. Like increase it a lot. So we're gonna go a little bit and he, he takes like this step. This first step or so, or a little more. And we're gonna click Shift B. And then we're gonna increase the speed of this first part like by a lot. Well, this was already slow-mo, so we gotta make it at least, you know, double the speed or four times. So we're gonna put it like 800%. So what happens right now is basically it starts very fast and then it goes to slow-mo like this. We could even make it even faster. See, so like this is, is way more dynamic. Then put another clip on top. And same thing, we delete the unnecessary part. Then we cut the f this clip, we can delete the rest. Then put this one, the second one that he's second close. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. He takes one or two steps like that. And we're gonna co click Shift B and speed ramp it a lot as well. And this is about 1000% and that should be good. And do the same thing with other ones. Pretty important, make the camera move so, it's mo so it looks better too. So for example, this part, we're gonna make the camera zoom in, something like this, let's say like this, zoom in, just gently, not too much, not too fast, just like that. 
and this part we want them together we make a compound clip and this part we start from zoom in and then we're gonna actually zoom out so obviously click transform tool add new keyframe next and then go to the end and uh and we're gonna zoom out now i can catch the corner of this so you basically make it smaller and there you go and then zoom out so it goes like this it zooms in and then it slowly zooms out and and i would recommend you do this for every part of the clip so for example he's walking here we click add keyframe and basically zoom in again gently not too much so it's more dynamic that way so now when you place the camera consistently moves whether it's zoom in or zoom out and same with all the other clips speed ram the beginning the rest is in slow-mo so it looks really cool then you can add some other elements like this for example this kind of bird move that he did especially if you put all the clips and you have still room in the timeline obviously adjust it to your own needs and that's it this is how you do it if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button it helps me a lot it helps our channel me and chris's other than that stay motivated make another video today or work on improving your future videos see you in the next video bye